Hi, um, just want to record my thoughts. I just um, finished playing Vinos Deluxe uh, solo against the um, Lacerta AI. Um, and yeah, amazing game. I, I knew it was going to be good because it's a Vitale Lacerta game. And I, you know, the, the games I, of his that I have played, I've really enjoyed um, Kanban and Lisboa. Um, such good games and yeah Vinos certainly for the solo play um, I haven't played it multiplayer yet but yeah based on the solo play absolutely love this game it's so uh, brain burningly good <laughs> it's um, yeah I, like, like so many of his games the the core game loop is really simple um, you have nine spaces the worker placement spaces essentially you have one worker um, you can move um, what I'll probably do is take a photo of that and put it up in the video so you can see what I'm talking about um, so you can move from any one space to any neighboring space um, for free unless there is an opponent there or the round marker either of those cost you um, a bagos that's the money used in the game um, or you can uh, move to a non adjacent space for one additional bagos now in the solo those rules still apply so if you move into the space where the ai is um then you pay one to the bank um, in the multiplayer game if you move into a space where an opponent is you pay that one to the opponent um, and likewise if you move into the space where the round marker is you pay one to the bank for that but Lacerta also leaves behind one Bagos note and if you move into one of those spaces you've got to pay one to the bank to remove that note. Uh, so yeah as he's moving around and, and the way he's, he takes his actions is you have a, a deck of cards um, they each have basically the, the action spaces on them that, and you you take um, two actions each year and the way it works in the solo well the way it works in the multiplayer is everybody takes one action then you move to the second half of the year and everybody takes a second action but in the solo uh, you and Lacerta the AI um, take their two actions consecutively um, it's based on player order so if you're first player then you take your two actions and then Lacerta takes his two actions and yeah what that means is you have to you have to really plan out your turns not just in terms of okay I have two actions what do I do first and what do I do second you've got to think about where do I want to end up so that my actions next year are not going to cost me additional money? Um, and of course, if Lacerta is going second, then, well, actually, either way around, whether he goes first or second, he's going to be putting down um, one Bagos in the space that he leaves. Uh, well, in fact, two, yeah, because he will leave a space and then unless he's in the center in which case he doesn't put one on there um but yeah any of the other spaces and the, most of the time he's going to one of the other spaces uh yeah when he leaves the space he puts a bagos down so he's going to be putting down two bagos notes uh most of the time if there's one already there then he doesn't so you can sort of you yeah you may want to leave them there go to spaces that don't have them so that he it's less likely that he's going to put one down or you might want to clear them early so that you can get you know and it's all 
yeah, there, there's so many of those decisions to make um, when you're thinking about your turn and what you want to do in the next turn. Um, then at the end of like the, the third, the fifth and the sixth years, so a year is two actions for both you and Lacerta, you have a, um, a fair, wine fair, and there's a track that just deals with the points that you score at the wine fair. Um, you can get experts to help you, you can get, um, I can't remember what they're called, um, but there are, there are kind of special action cards that you can acquire. Um, and then if you, there are like three judges, and if you please them at the fair, you get extra barrels that allow you to sell your wine or to export it, and the export is like a area majority. Um, the selling, you, you just buy stuff. Um, and yeah, and you've got to build up your, your vineyards and uh, you get wineries and you can get, um, I can't remember what they're called, but wine people <laughs> uh, and farmers that make your wine better. Um, and yeah, it's just such a good game. It's it's like there is, you know, like, uh, um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, the the core core loop of the game is really simple. You just move your worker to a space, take the action. Very simple. But there, like all of his games, it's the same with Lisboa, where it's you. I can't remember the order of it. You you're playing a card, you're drawing a card, you're taking an action. Um, I think it's draw. I think I think it's play. Take the action, then draw a card. I think, or well, it might be draw the card first. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played Lisboa. Um, or in Kanban, where you've got a single worker and you move him along the, the track, and there's usually two, two spaces for each sort of area, um, and and then you have Sandra that moves, and yeah, it, it's there. The yeah. Well, what I'm trying to say is the central mechanic is or central game loop is really simple but from that you get a really complex gameplay it's just just fantastic this is this is definitely one I'm going to be playing again um, especially as I need to check something about end game scoring and how Lacerta scores but I either only just scored more than him or he absolutely destroyed me and I suspect it was the latter because I, I think there's stuff that I need to score for him um, and if that is correct I scored he scored like 130 points to my 90 uh, but yeah I'm definitely going to be playing this again it's, it's such a good game and um, definitely want to get it played multiplayer uh, and one comparison people make is with viticulture I think this is far superior to viticulture um, I, I had some issues with viticulture and the the randomness of the way that you get the um, type of vines and the contracts that you have to fulfil um, there's there's a little bit of randomness in in terms of the the color of the grapes that you can acquire in this but it's very minor and you can see ahead of time what you can get um, and yeah there, there's no kind of contracts or anything you just either make red wine or white wine of different um, qualities and you either got the export market or the um, hotel market and yeah though 
either of those will take a range of qualities and you get either victory points or money. Um, and yeah, just brilliant game. Oh, so good. Really impressed with it.